Yo, what's going on guys? Arax here, welcome back to another Monster Hunter World video. In today's video, we are talking about rare creatures, but more specifically, the four rare creatures you need to capture in order to earn the four hidden trophies on your guild card. These are also linked to PSN trophies or Xbox Live achievements, so for any completionists out there, this is one for you. There are four in total, all of them are rare spawns, so finding these will require a little bit of patience, they won't always be there, but two of them can be found at any time, meanwhile the other two are part of quest chains. So, let's go over everything you need to know. If you do enjoy this and you do find it helpful, then a like would be super appreciated, and be sure to comment down below if you have any questions. First up, let's start with the Bristly Crake for the Bristles for All trophy. This can be found in either the Rotten Vale or Elder's Recess. I found mine in Elder's Recess. It's a little round bird that perched on the back of some of these smaller monsters. On this map, it can be found on the back of Gastodons. Now, it's worth noting, these creatures scare easily, so be sure to wear your ghillie mantle. But what you want to do is find a group of Gastodon, put on your mantle and walk up to them. And if you see the bird on their back, catch it with your net. Now, in Elder's Recess, they can be found down here in Area 5 but they can also be found in Area 11 by the lava, so you have a couple of locations to check. If it doesn't spawn, simply leave the map, reload, and try again. As mentioned, they are rare, so they won't always show up. And as for the Rotten Vale, it can also show up on the back of a Mosswine, but since I didn't get mine from there, I can't actually show you that one. So, moving on from there to the second creature, the Prism Herculodrome, for the Rainbow Bright Trophy. This one is found on Wildspire Waste, Spawn at the first base camp, and ideally you want it to be dawn or dusk. These are the only times I've ever seen it, and having spoken to other people who have found this, it does indeed seem to be the case. Either way, what you then want to do is head down to the swampy area where you would normally fight Gelatinos, but before that, swing from the wedge beetle onto the platform over there, and right on the tree you will find the bug. Again, I'd recommend wearing your ghillie mantle, I'm not too sure if the bugs scare so easily, but if you're hunting something so rare, it doesn't hurt to play safe. Again, catch it with your net, and you'll have the next trophy. So, what's next? Well, the last two are for the Ancient Fish and the Phantom Bird, but in order to get these, you first need to have completed the associated quest chains. If you go into Expedition Mode, you'll likely have encountered either the Piscine or the Endemic Life Researchers. They give you critical bounties to go and catch a certain type of fish, animal, or buck. The quests to get these rare creatures are at the end of each of the respective quest chains, and it seems like you won't get those quests until both of these are done, so they're somewhat linked, at least from my experience. So very quickly, let's go over the steps you need to take to get there. There are five quests from each of them, one for each of the maps. Starting with the Piscine Researcher, for each of these you'll need to speak to him to get the quest first, and then once you've completed it, you can hand it in at the resource center back at town. After speaking to him in the Ancient Forest, he'll ask you to catch a pink Paraxus. You can get this from the same pond that he is standing by, look for the pink fish, and catch it from there. After that, speaking to him in the Wildspire Waste, he'll ask you to catch a sushi fish, and once again, this can be caught in the same area that he's found. You can just turn around and grab it from the pool behind you. Next up, speaking to him in the Coral Highlands, he'll ask you for a gunpowder fish, but this time I actually found the easiest place to catch this was the Rotten Vale. If you go to Area 9, which is actually where he'll be when you speak to him on this map, the pool he's standing by has gunpowder fish by the waterfall. Look for the little fish with the lights on them and throw your fishing rod into there, catch one of those, and that is a gunpowder fish. After that, when you speak to him in the Rotten Vale, he'll ask you for golden fish. So for this, what you wanna do is head down to Area 15, once you get through the crawl space, you can find golden fish in this pool right in front of you. Then finally, once you speak to him in Elder's Recess, he'll ask you to catch a platinum fish. Now for this, head to the second base camp, Eastern Camp, and behind the tent in the left part, there's a silver fish that looks similar to the golden fish model. Catch this, it's the platinum fish. With all of these done, you're now in a position to get the final quest for the rare fish, but for me it didn't show up until I'd also completed the endemic researcher's request as well, so let's cover those super quickly. If you speak to her in the ancient forest, she asks you to catch a woodland terex. This is flying right in front of her, so it's super easy to catch. In the wild spire waste, she'll ask you for carrier ants. You can catch these in batches of three, and they're walking around on the ground right outside the first base camp. This area, just look at the ground and wander around in this vicinity, and you'll find them in small clumps. In the coral highlands, she'll ask you to catch wigglers, and those are the weird tentacle plants that go away when you get close, so put your ghillie mantle on and catch three of them. The easiest place is right outside the first base camp. On the Rotten Vale, she'll ask you to catch scavantulas. These are spiders that hang around bone piles. They're dark in colour, so it can be a little hard to see them, but anywhere there is a gatherable bone pile, you should find some nearby. So either turn right outside the first base camp, go up the slope, and then you'll find a bone pile over there, or you can go left and work your way up to where you normally fight Radaban, and there are some bone piles there. 
catch them with your bug net, and then that will complete that quest. Once you've done that, on Elder's Recess, she'll ask you to get bomb beetles. These can be found right outside the first camp. It's the orange looking dung beetle that rolls explosive rocks. Catch one here, then if you wait a minute or so, it'll respawn and you can just catch the remaining ones you need. Once you've done that and you've handed them in at the resource center, you can now go and speak to each of them on the maps and they will give you their final quests. I got the quest for the ancient fish, the Petrocanth on the Rotten Vale after speaking to the Piscine researcher. In order to find this one, head down to area 15 in the Rotten Vale, through the crawl space again, and then turn right down to where the Grimalkin are. Behind that rock formation is a pond, and in here is where it can spawn. Now remember, this is very rare. I had to reload the map so many times to get this to spawn. It is also worth noting it can spawn on Elder's Recess, again behind the second base camp, just behind where we caught the Platinum Fish. I didn't personally see it there, but if you're chasing this fish, you could alternate between these two maps. So if you go to one of them, it doesn't load, you could go into the other one, and basically just go back and forward until you see it. Either way, when you do find it, it's very obvious to see. Use your fishing rod to catch it, and you'll then get a living fossil trophy. Then finally, this last one was the one that took me the longest to do. This is the quest for the Downy Crake, aka the Phantom Bird. Much like the Bristly Crake, these can also be found on the backs of passive monsters, things like Aptonoth or Apsaros, and they scare very easily, so Gillimantle is a must. Load into either the Ancient Forest or Wildspire Waste, go outside the first base camp, and look at the back of the Aptonoth or the Apsaros. They'll spawn on there, they'll move fast, and sometimes they jump off, so make sure your capture net is preloaded so you can run over with your mantle on and grab one if you see it. I'm unsure if there's a specific time of day for these ones. I kept refreshing over and over, but I found mine during the day. But either way, that is what you need to look for. And once you've caught that, you'll have the Snuggles for All trophy. And that, my friends, is how you find the rare creatures needed to get those four trophies. Now you are a little bit closer to completing your guild card. Of course, if that's something you're trying to do. Again, if you have any questions, by all means let me know. But otherwise, thank you very much for watching. Take it easy. Catch you next time. Peace out.